Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. I am back to make a um, Valentine fabric inspired lunch tote, y'all. Sorry for the glare, but I have had this one for a long time that I made. Here's another one. I dug them out of my closet. It's a little bit wrinkled, but y'all can see how it is. The neat thing about these kind of lunch totes is they are the cinch top and look how deep it is y'all. I know it's kind of dark, um, but yeah, this particular one I made a, uh, with a very sturdy, sturdy, hard um, interfacing inside. What the pattern that I found calls for actually is the Pelin 808 or 809 and it's a little bit softer. It does hold its shape pretty well. But you can see this one, um, it's kind of dirty inside because I need to wash it, but you could see what it's like. I've used the punk out of these and I thought, I am going to utilize this fabric I bought and I'm going to make a new lunch tote. So anyway, let me just get started here. Let's get these out of the way. Okay, so I've gone ahead and cut all the pieces of fabric that we need. And um, I got my notes here. This particular pattern, I found it probably three years ago, and I probably was surfing Pinterest one day and I found it, and it was um, a really cute um, little tote that I found, and let me see if I can remember the name of the lady's blog where I found it. Um, I think it was Bee in My Bonnet. Um, she is super, super um, talented, and so... When I saw this, I thought, how cute are these? So, like I said, I've had mine three years, and I have worn the punk at them. So I thought, I'm going to make a new one. I've been wanting to make a new one. It's time. So, anyway, let's just get started. I've already cut all of my fabrics um, of what I need and my interfacing. I'm just using regular cotton fabric. And I'm using a Pellon 808 interfacing. It is, um, it does have a fusible side on it. Um, any kind I believe would work, but make sure it's sturdy enough. So um, let's just get started. So the pieces of fabric that you're going to need, um, you are going to need two pieces of nine by 12 and a half. And this is going to be for the outside of our bag. It's going to be the outer part of our bag, the bottom part. So you need two pieces cut from nine by 12 and a half. Nine by 12 and a half for that. That's going to be our the lining piece. The cover of our bag, you need um, two pieces, eight by 12 and a half. The lining piece, you need nine by 12 and a half, and you'll need two of those. The rim to the bag, you're going to need four pieces at two and a quarter by 12 and a half. And you're going to need four two by 12 for the handles. The interfacing that you will need, you will need for the rim, you'll need two pieces cut at two and a, two and, um, I think two inch by by 12 and a quarter and this is for the handles these are going to be one and three fourths by by 11 and three fourths so you could do 12 and just trim it and then I have a piece of interfacing this is for the whole inside of the bag after we get it together the interfacing I have here is cut at 12 and a half 12 and a half by 17 and a half. Now don't worry about worrying about the measurements I'll put them in the description box below so anyway, let's just get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to work on the outer part of our bag. And actually, let me get the outer part. This is the outer part of our bag. Now, the reason it says cut two is because in case you want to make it two different colors. I'm going to go ahead and do both sides of mine. Cut it one, one different, uh, one different, um, one fabric um, shade. And um, so I'm just going to sew them together. Now you're going to. First thing I'm going to do is I am going to sew 
I'm gonna turn it where right sides are together and I'm gonna sew a seam right along the bottom sewing these together. Now, you could have made this one big long piece and omitted the seam, um, but if you wanted to make your bag um, different colors on the side, that's why you were to cut it like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Make sure your back stitch. We're gonna get this, all, sew this all the way down. Looks like a difficult bag, but it is really, really simple once you figure out all the pieces. Okay. I'm going to get my threads cut off. I got you over here at my ironing board. I wanted you to see. I have sewed my two pieces together. This was um, this is 12 and a half inches wide. Each piece was nine inches tall. So I sewed them both together. So now the width of our fabric is 12 and a half inches by 18 inches. And I'm just gonna take it and put it on your Pellon 808. Um, the actual pattern that I very beginning used was an 809 Pellon but I could not find it, so I went with 808, it's pretty sturdy. So now all you're gonna do is just iron it down. Iron it really good, you want it to stay in place. And there we go, it's looking pretty good. Just, just iron it down really good. Sorry for the lighting in my room today, y'all. Got the window open and the lights on, but I don't know what's going on. Hope everybody is having an awesome day. It's a bright, nice, sunny day. It's going to be pretty decent weather. Okay, looks pretty good. I think I got a little bit over here I need to work on. Sometimes I get to iron in a little bit fast. I need to remember to slow down just to make sure that this gets adhered correctly. Okay, this is the first part of our ironing. So I'm gonna move you back over and we're gonna go with our next step. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do now that you've got all this ironed together, what you're going to do is you're gonna take it and fold it in half and you're gonna sew the seams on each side So I'm gonna take it and on, so then when I fold it in half, now it becomes nine inches again. You're gonna use a quarter inch seam allowance, back space at, or batch stitch at the end, beginning and end. And you're going to get this all sewed down. Okay, there's one side and we're gonna do the other. There we go. This is a pretty sturdy interfacing back stitch. Okay, so there we go. So now let's just trim off our threads. I'm gonna trim off the threads over here. And this is what it looks like now. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get going ready for the next step. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is you need to make um, box your corners on your bag. So what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna do it at a five inch. So you're gonna take your interfacing and fabric and you're gonna kinda box it out. Try to put this in the center. An easy way to do it is to kinda line up the side seam with the bottom. Just put it on your cutting mat and I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna do it sideways so I can see what I'm doing here. 
kind of press it down because this interfacing will fold. And you're gonna do a five, you're gonna do it five inches. So you're gonna go up two and a half inches up and then, then we're gonna go off, score off to the side or draw our line off from the side. I'm trying to do it to make sure you guys can see what we're doing. But if I go up two and a half inches, see if I can do this. I'm gonna go up two and a half inches. And I'm just gonna mark myself a line with my friction pen. And then I'm just gonna draw a straight line right across. Now let's see here. I'm trying to see if I had my other ruler. I don't have it available. But just line up one of your lines. Um, see how I've got this line lined up. And I, there's my mark that I made. Just draw a line going all the way across. And that's going to make your five inches. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and then I'll sew them. So I'm gonna fold this one down. Make sure I have it even. I know you're probably thinking if you don't really sew often, oh, that's difficult. This is a very simple bag and it is so sweet when you're done. Okay, I'm gonna go up, use my ruler. I'm gonna go up two and a half inches. Okay. And then I'm gonna just line up my line and the seam with the dotted line on my ruler. I'm just gonna draw a line straight across and now I'm gonna sew that down. Okay, I'm gonna move you over a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Sorry for the wiggling, y'all. Okay, so now I'm gonna take and sew a, sew a seam all the way across on the line I just drew. Back stitch at the beginning and the end. You can open your seams if you want. I don't really think it makes a whole lot of difference. I don't bother with it sometimes. Okay, I'm gonna back stitch. Okay. Okay, got that. And now I'm gonna do the other side. Fold it back down, make sure it's even. Align it up on the line that I have drawn on here. That little, this line straight here. Back stitch. I had to refresh my memory on how to make this. It's been a long while since I made these. But I'm thinking about doing this, and I finally was able to stop and get some Pelon 808. So yeah. Okay, so now let me get these threads trimmed off. And here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna flip it inside out so you'll be able to see what it looks like. As you see, it's become boxy. Okay, and you'll be able to go ahead and you can cut off the the flaps if you like. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut mine. Uh, that's less bulk in the bottom of your bag. Just cut it. You can use your rotary cutters or some scissors and just trim it off. I'm gonna do the other side as well. Okay, so there we go. So this is the bottom to our lunch tote. How cute is that, y'all? Look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get this flipped inside out, get it correct, get it flipped out the correct way, and then we're gonna make the lining. That way we have them both ready to roll. Okay, I'm gonna bring this off camera over here a little bit so I can get my corners punched out because the interfacing is pretty tough stuff here. So there you go. This is the bottom of our of our bag. Okay, so now let me show you what's next. Okay, so now I'm gonna work on my lining. My lining is two pieces of fabric and it's um, nine by 12 and a half. This is what I'm going to be using for my lining. I'm gonna turn them inside out. 
and put put right sides together or pretty sides together on the on the um, 12 and a half inch side I'm gonna take it oops I need to flip that one over I'm gonna sew this and sew these together so you're pretty much doing the same thing like you did for the outside you're doing it now for the inside so I'm going to get these all lined up Sew myself a quarter inch seam, back space or back stitch at the beginning. Then you know I'm on the computer so all the time at work, and so whenever I hear, hear back stitch, I keep saying back space. I'm not on a computer, y'all. I'm not on. Okay, so I'm gonna get this all sewed together. I'm thinking that for my craft fair, this coming up here, I might utilize this. I might, I might make some of these. I don't know. Let me know what you think if you think that they would sell. Because it's really cute in the end, y'all. It really is. Okay, I'm going to take this over to my iron. I'm going to iron the seam in half. I'm going to open. And then I'm going to adhere it to another piece of pellon. I went ahead and cut myself another piece. So I'm going to get this ironed. I'm going to leave you running for a second. And I'm going to go ahead and get this ironed open and get the pellon adhered to it. Yeah, I, I, they're, these are so cute. I, if I decide to do these for, and put them in craft fair, um, I am going to have to start making them early. I'm going to have to start making them so I don't have to stress at the last minute to do it. Okay, I got my seam ironed back, ironed open. I'm going to lay it on my pellon with the fusible side up. Let me see which side. Yep, there's the glue. If you don't know how to use pellon or if you've never used it, just the shiny side is the side with the glue. So I'm working on getting this all adhered down. So bear with me a moment, guys. And yeah. Ooh, we get to go to my husband's work dinner tonight. It's going to be really fun. His work every year caters a, a really nice meal and they have an award ceremony for their employees. And winning or not, I'm so proud of my husband. I'm so proud of him all the time. He's just an awesome hard worker works hard for us okay got it all adhered here you go I'm gonna do the same thing like I did the outside and I'm going to do do it for the inside so I'm gonna take these I'm gonna fold it in half and I'm going to stitch down each side box my corners this. Okay, make sure that none of your fabric has come up or anything. Now on my other one, I don't believe I added an extra um, sheet of pull on on the lining, but I decided to go ahead and do it this time. That makes it more sturdy. So um, I think that it might be a wise, wise thing to do. Okay, flipping on over to the other side. Don't do like I did in the past and sew down a finger. I have sewed my finger. Not good. Okay. Okay, re reinforced. I'm going to trim off the strings. And. So there we go. Okay, I'm gonna move you over so I can box my corners. Okay, it's gonna end up looking just like this one. Now we have to do this one. Oh, just like the other one. I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna fold this down. 
kind of line up your seam with the seam you sewed inside. That's how you can kind of find your middle. Mm -hmm. I'm just making sure for us draw my line here. Okay, pretty good. I'm gonna measure up to two and a half inches. Let's see what I did with my pen, y'all. Yeah, let me grab another. Why do my pens always walk away on me? Okay, I'm grabbing another one here. So it's all good. Okay, and look, y'all. As I see it, here it is, right there. Okay, lining up on the seam, marking it at two and a half, lining the line on the ruler with my seam. That's how I know I'll be able to draw a straight line. Draw a line. Let's do the other side. This is going to make, by me adding this extra layer of, of interfacing, is going to make it more sturdy but not too stiff. Okay, that looks pretty good. Pressing this down. I'm go up here. Get my two and a half inch. Line up a line on your ruler with your seam that you just sewed and draw a line. Let's try not to lose the pins again, y'all. Put them up here this time. Okay, let's get back over here to the sewing machine so we can get this back, this part finished. Okay, move you over. Sorry for the wiggling. Put your thread on the back. Line it, line your presser foot up. Back, back stitch. You can sew your seams open again if you want. I'm not gonna bother. Come on back. Okay. And here we go. I'm going to trim off that one. Now I'm going to flip it around. Flip it around. Get it sewed up on this side. Just want to make sure I have everything straight, y'all. So important. You don't want a crooked bag. Okay. Back stitch. Now we can now I'm gonna move it back over. I'll show you the next step. Okay, get you over here, y'all. We're gonna do the same thing like we did to the other back, other the outer part. I'm gonna trim this off. I left about it's not too straight on there, but I left about three-fourths of an inch. You don't want to cut it too close. Cut this side. So there we go. Now we've got our inside and the outside of our bag ready to roll. So now, let me show you what's next. Okay. So what you need to do now, your next step will be, is to take the outer pouch that you made or the bottom part of your bag. You're gonna take that and it's got the fabric on the outside. You're gonna leave this one inside out, the lining one, and you're gonna put them down inside of each other. You're gonna line up the seams on the side. Very important, line up those seams. Let me see if I can grab my pins. Line them up, pin them so they stay in place. The sides are real important to get lined up on this. You wanna make sure your bag is even and if you don't do that, it's pretty much gonna be a crooked bag and you don't want that. And I'm going to pin this side so you can kind of see. Now we have the inside and the outside. I'm going to pull this down. I want to make sure my linings are all, everything is all flush. And now what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to sew a seam all around, all the way around, about a quarter of an inch to hold this all in place. So let me get this one other side I'm gonna put over here. I wanna get this all sewed down. So cute. The fabric is a starling, y'all. So, so cute. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna sew all the way around just to get this adhered. I'm gonna pull off the tray on my sewing machine to make this a little easier. Moving you again, y'all. I'll get the hang of all these sewing tutorials one of these days. I'll try my best, y'all. Try my best. I'm gonna start at a seam. I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Starting at this seam over here, I'm gonna push this down. Ouch, got poked with a pin. Try to keep these all lined up. I'm gonna put my presser foot down, remove my pin. And I'm gonna sew this all the way around. That way I'll have two, two a lining, two pieces of interfacing inside, and then my outer fabric. It'll be all sewed together. So the bottom part of the bag will be done and we're halfway done, y'all. Use my down feature on here. Keep everything in place. Okay, take it and kind of work your way around. Hopefully this tutorial won't be too long for you. I hope you stick it out with me. Because um, I promise you in the end, this is a super cute bag and it's so rewarding to finish a project. Um, my 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 cousin-in-law was here last week and she is very interested in crafts and Christine, if you watch this video, shout out to you. Um, but anyway, she told me that she really wants to craft but her problem is, is she never finishes or most of the time will not finish what she starts. So, I, uh, I can't stand it. I got to finish what I start. So, I'm hoping that, you know, if you have a real interest, you won't give up and you will keep trying. And I'm going to keep going. I'm almost there. Kind of get this smoothed down. The extra layer of interfacing that I added uh, made it pretty, made it pretty, pretty sturdy. Okay, I'm gonna do some back stitching there. So we're looking good there. Here we go. Now let me trim off my threads. How cute is that, y'all? There's the bottom of our lunch tote. Look, inside and outside. How cute. Now we're gonna put this aside and we're gonna get ready to work on our handles and the top piece and then the cover that goes on our bag. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna work on our handles. And our handles, you're gonna need four pieces at two by 12. You can either do that or you can do um, two pieces at four by 12 if you don't wanna sew them together. But um, I think it's because if you wanted to make them different colors, um, that's why I was done like that, but I'm doing mine all the same color. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to sew, sew my two pieces together since I had already cut it like that. And I'm just going to have right, right sides facing each other and I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to stick this under my sewing machine and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sew this off camera. I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I have sewed my two pieces together, which I said you could do a four by 12 and sew sewing the two pieces together. And I've ironed the middle seam over, the center seam open that I, sew that I sewed. I have folded in about a quarter of an inch or a little bit more on each side of my fabric. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stick this interfacing right down inside this little, this little area right here. And I'm gonna fold this over and I'm gonna take my iron and I'm gonna sh get this all ironed down together. Okay, 
you just want to make sure that your seams on the sides meet. I'm just making sure I got that folded over well enough. And there you go. Now this will be the first one. Then I'm going to go sew one seam down each side and then our straps will be ready to install. So I'm going to work on the other one. But there you go. This is for our first strap. Look, it's pretty sturdy too. Okay, so I'm going to work on the next one and we'll get it ready. Get the next one. Both of my straps prepared and ready to sew, the, sew down the seam. And I always sew first the seam that's open. Um, the other side's already stitched down, so I'm going to sew just like about eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch, about a quarter of an inch, just all the way down, just to hold my straps in place. doing a lot of paper tutorials and I think I really am gonna start incorporating more sewing tutorials I hope you guys like sewing tutorials um, anyway I'm gonna add this other one on here so I can chain piece it and just go all the way down and then I'm gonna sew the other side and my straps will be ready to sew into our coat it over just do the other side even though it's all down in there you still want the two seams we have handles get those cut there we go okay I like to go and repress everything down after I sew it so I'm gonna do that and get ready for the next step so now we're gonna work on our rim that goes on the top of the bag we've needed four pieces of uh, four strips of fabric two and a quarter by twelve and a half and two pieces of interfacing I'm gonna fuse um, two of my straps my strips of fabric with the interfacing and um, then I will we will proceed to get our straps sewed on and get this room done y'all we are halfway done or more you'll see okay so I'm gonna get to so I've, I've got the interfacing sewed on um, two pieces of my rim of my rim pieces what you're going to do with the with the the fabric side up is you're going to take each one of your straps and you're gonna also um, grab a pin a friction pin or something because you're going to actually let's see here I'm gonna take use the ruler on my mat here instead of using my other cutting ruler you need to go over four inches so that's one two three four I'm gonna mark that then I'm gonna also do four inches from this side. That's one, two, three, four. This is where we're going to put our handles. We're gonna sew our handles on. So how you sew your handles is by just kind of kind of folding them. Make sure they don't twist. You're gonna kind of center it up in the center of this of the fa of the fabric. And I'm gonna go ahead and while I've got it here, I'm gonna sew this on really fast. Then I'll do the other one, just so I can kind of hold it in place. So bear with me, y'all. I'm gonna stick it over here, and I'm gonna get this sewed on. Make sure you sew it straight. Okay. I just did a base stitch on there so I could hold it in place. Now I'm gonna take it. And I'm gonna make sure I have it. Make sure your handle's not gonna be twisted. Line it up on the other one. Put it kind of in the center, and I went up about a quarter of an inch above where the rim is, and I'm going to sew that one as well. Make sure you have your hand straight. We're going to sew this again, so I did not back stitch, but it's going to be okay because we are going to sew it all again, and you'll see that in just a second. 
I'm gonna trim off my threads. I'm gonna do my other one. Okay, so they're looking looking like this. Let's do this one now. Grab my other strap. I'm gonna measure it, go in four inches. One, two, three, four. Line it up over here. One, two, three, four. I really can make one of these probably in like, um, probably 45 minutes once I have everything cut. It, it really goes fast for me. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get these stitched down as well. So hang tight a sec and I'll get these all stitched down. Okay, so now the next step of what you're going to need to do, take your two other strips and lay them over the top evenly in, on the edge of the fabric. And you're gonna pin this down so you can hold this all in place. Just like this. Hold it right along the edge. You wanna to try to make sure it's as, as uh, flush to the edge as you can. See, the nice thing is, is now you've got, you're gonna have an extra seam to hold those straps in place because they'll have a lot of wear and tear on them. So what I did with my other pins, y'all. Need a few pins here, okay? Then this one, that one was pretty tough. Okay, and then we're gonna get this one and we're gonna do both of our, both of our um, things just like this. So now what I'm gonna do is take this over to my machine and sew this top seam, sew the top seam down. So let's move over here and to the machine and I'll show you how to do this. Sorry, this tutorial has been a pretty wiggly tutorial. Hopefully I'm getting what I want to teach you across. Okay, do like about a quarter of an inch seam. And I'm just gonna do a back stitch. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and peel my pull my pins off as long as I've got it sewed down. Make sure, like I said, make sure your fabric is flush with the edge. You want it to be, you want it to be nice and flush so everything is nice and even. I'm gonna undo this one. Now we're gonna roll on to the end. Told y'all how easy this is. This is so, so simple. Okay, got that one. Let's do the other one. I can't stand the reds. Are y'all like that? Okay, see now, now that we've got this just like this, it's gonna fold over. We're gonna tow a, sew a top stitch seam all the way around and look, our, our handles are going to be nice and flush down in there and secure. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the other one then I'm gonna iron those down and then we'll be able to get going on this. We're coming close to the end. Make sure when you sew the other strip of fabric on top, you have pretty sides together, line up the corners. If you feel good about not pinning, then don't pin. Just uh, try to keep your fabric as close, as nice and straight as you can. seam allowance my and by the way I am using a two and a half inch stitch length and I am just using regular polyester cotton blend thread okay. and there we go so now I'm going to get these all ironed down so you can see what's next ironed my seams so everything is nice and flush and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up the ends together and I'm going to sew this these ends closed so line them up line your fabric up quarter inch seam allowance 
Make sure these are nice and flush together. on both ends. Now let's do this side. Line all these up. trimmed. I have an automatic thread trimmer, but yeah. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. So watch this, y'all. I'm going to take these. I'm going to make sure my straps are going to be sticking up. I'm going to take this extra little strip of fabric and I'm going to Get this folded over where it's going to be flush. I'm gonna take this to my iron and get this iron down really well. And then I'm going to sew a top stitch all the way around the top. So as you see, what I did is I used my Clover Wonder Clips. I folded it over and now I'm gonna sew a top stitch all the way around the top. And then I'm gonna sew one on the bottom. So. I'm gonna get this pulled off of my machine again. Makes it a little easy. Sorry for that noise, y'all. Makes it a little easy to sew. I like to start on the sides. And I'm gonna take out my first clip. Go into here. You can do a decorative stitch on this if you want. I'm just gonna use a straight stitch. I'm going to slowly start sewing all the way around to get the rim of our bag complete. Okay, i got to start using my down feature here so it doesn't move around on me. Okay, that's another one. So now our straps have been sewed down three times because of this. So that's really good reinforcing. trim these threads right here. My husband's awfully quiet in there. I think he's napping. He's probably napping. I'm going to do a back stitch right there. And there we go. We have got the rim sewed down. See, so now our straps are going to be ready to go. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and sew a seam around the whole bottom just because this is loose under here and I want it to be held in place. So I'm just going to make sure it's smoothed down underneath. And I'm going to sew that one down just a nice little seam all the way around. This one will go pretty fast. Pretty excited to have another lunch tote. If you watch my video all the way through and you make it through, let me know you made it all the way through in the comments below. Because then I might make another one and possibly give one of these away. You never know. 
But you gotta watch the whole video to find out. And you have to know I just said that so you can put a comment below. Okay, there we go. So, the rim is complete. See, this is how it's gonna look, y'all, see? And it's gonna fit on our, on the top of our um, lunch tote. Let me move you over so you can see. Sorry for the wiggling. So now how this is going to look, I'm gonna get this back on my machine for a sec. How this is going to look, it's going to end up being on the top here. But how we're going to get it adhered is we're going to flip it inside out and we're going to fold it down and we're going to line the seams up on the side. Let me get those do lined up. And then all we're going to have to do now is finish the top once we adhere this down. So the nice thing is, is all these raw seams, these raw edges here are going to be hidden. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and get this um, held down with my clips. If y'all don't use Clover Wonder Clips, if you're new to sewing, y'all, these clips is the best thing that you actually could sew with. You, I, I'm telling the truth. These things, I have had these same clips for multiple years and nothing has broke on me. They are so reliable and so, such a good product and they are very sturdy to hold your stuff together. Make sure you get those side seams. Make sure the seams are lined up. And we'll go here. Almost got this one down. Y'all, how cute is this? See, putting all these different colors is beautiful. Now let's, uh, I'm gonna pull my thing off here again. And um, let's get this one sewed down. So here we go. I'm gonna start, uh, well I got a thread here. I'm gonna start over here. I'm gonna start on the side seam. Hold it down. This is a pretty sturdy because of my double interfacings that I put. And which is good because then your lunch tote is more sturdy. I'm gonna use my down feature on this. Take off my first clip. I'm gonna grab my thing over here. Take off my first clip. And I'm gonna get this sewed all the way around. Just kind of make it flush with the top of your, your bag over here. Okay. Like I said, you got double interfacing, so you're gonna feel like you're gonna be fighting with this, but I promise you y'all, it don't take long and it's worth it. It's so worth it. It's a beautiful little tote, tote when you're done. Like I said, I found this on Pinterest and I believe the name of the, the um, poster, the one that posted it was Bee in My Bonnet. She is a beautiful, some pictures that I've seen of things that she says is beautiful, but I think she shared someone's tutorial um, on how to do this, the, their blog post on how to sew this. Like I said, I've had this a long time. I think that blog post from like 2011 or something like that, so it's pretty old. But it's a, it ends up being such a beautiful, wonderful bag. I'm gonna go ahead and take those off. And down there. Now you could have tried to put the other top part on this as well and did it all at the same time, but I like having my stuff uh, adhered down so nothing moves around. Once you got it so it ain't gonna move. Okay, now let's see what this is looking like now. Let me get this flipped out, y'all. How beautiful. I love it. Look, y'all. Isn't that so cute? I know the camera's close. Let me back yet. It is looking so cute. Look. 
Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I wanna be able to top stitch this down, but let's start working on the part that the cover for this. Um, go ahead and slap your iron on here too. Make sure your, everything is all nice and flush. It's gonna be beautiful and you're not gonna be able to see the raw, raw seams, uh, the raw edges whenever I'm all done. So um, let me get prepared for the next step. It's so cute. Okay, for the cover of your um, bag, you're going to need two pieces of fabric measuring 12 and a half by eight. And what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to measure down from the top of your bag down two inches on each side for all four pieces. So I'm gonna go from the bottom since I'm sitting over here, I'm gonna measure and I'm gonna do two inches. And then I'm gonna do the other two pieces. Measure from the edge of the bag or the edge of the fabric to two inches. Two inches. Okay. Now, what you're going to need to do is you're gonna put right sides together. And let's let me make sure I got my two inch marks at the top. Okay, I do. And here I'm putting these two sides together. And I'm gonna sew the side seams from the two inch mark down to the edge. So I'm gonna bring this over to my machine and get this all ready to go here. Get this down feature going. I'm gonna turn you a little bit so you could see. And really, I think it's really important right here to do a back, back stitch because right here above this is where you're gonna be putting the cinch top. And so you want to make sure that it's reinforced really well. That's one side. And then I'm gonna do the other side. take it over to my, my uh, iron and I am going to iron my seams open and um, then I'll show you what's next. We are coming close to the end of our sewing tutorial. Yay! But I thought I needed to show you this and not just iron everything down. I'm going to iron my seams open. So just press them open. Turn it sideways here. And this part where we did not sew at the two and a half or the two inches above, iron them open really well. Where it's folded back. Really good. Let's do both sides. Here's the other one. There we go. Okay, so it looks like this, and here's our openings at the top here. Okay. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to take my fabric back over to the machine. We'll show you almost our next stop. Step. Uh, almost forgot one step. Before we go back to the machine, um, take the top of your fabric and fold it down about three fourths of an inch. And we're going to iron that open as well. So here's our little opening. We're going to fold it in half at like three fourths of an inch and fold it down. This is where we're going to be putting our drawstring in. So fold it down, kind of eyeball it about three fourths of an inch or so. And you're going to iron this down all the way around. Then we'll okay, So I've gone ahead and off camera, I went ahead and sewed the edge of that raw seam under because I don't want any frayed edges on here. 
And now I'm just going to sew all the way around holding this the the casing. This is the seam where we're going to make the little place for the for the uh string to go through. So you want to be you want to be able to have a nice edge on it. So I'm going to go ahead and get that sewed down. By putting that extra little quarter of an inch folding it under then folding it down it puts it down about three fourths of an inch Just make it as straight as you can and you're gonna kind of skip on over you want to make sure those uh, the raw edges on the edge there are folded under I'm gonna Drag it over here to the next section. Don't sew those holes closed or anything. You gotta have that little two inch part that's up at the top that we made it so we can thread our string through. I'm gonna do a little back stitch there. Okay, so that is where we're going to be putting the drawstring to make the cinch part on the top of our bag. But let me trim this off. Okay, so now here's the top of our bag. So this is gonna be the fun part, y'all. We're gonna attach this to here, okay? So we wanna make this where we're not gonna be able to see any seams. So if I can remember this correctly, we're going to take our, our tote that we've already made and we're going to fold this part down. We're going to put the seams that we just sewed on the bottom and we're going to line up our seams on the side. And line them up. the sides and use some clips I'm gonna line this all the way around let's kind of get it all stuck up in there Even with it, um, even with my bag, kind of everything over it, it's still holding good shape because of the Pelon 808 and I doubled it. I hope you guys will stay with me. I know this is a little long, but this bag is so worth it. And if I don't show you everything, you know, I want you, I want you to be able to succeed and make this bag too. So I have to show you this so I know it's long. So sorry. Hope you've stuck with me. Now we're going to take it and we're going to sew a seam all the way around. So we've got several layers under here. So go slow so we don't break a needle or anything. But we've got lots of layers in here. I start on the side like always. Where the side seam is. I'm going to use my down feature so my needle won't move. Move my first clip and off we go. These clips they kind of get caught under here so you have to really maneuver your fabric but they sure do work well I like them better than pins we're halfway done with this
stuck with me here. I hope you have. This is going to be so worth it. Let's get over here to the end. Back stitch. Now, we're close to there. So now, what I'm going to do to be able to hide all these raw seams in here, look, when I bring this up, look, y'all, how nice it looks. But now, see, now it will be hidden down in there. But I want to cover these seams. So one more step, y'all, one more step. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to push the, the top down inside. Try to make it flush. If you have to iron it down, go do that. I'm gonna try to see if I can do it without ironing. We'll see. Hold it down. You wanna make sure that's gonna be flush. Okay, so you're gonna hold it just like this. Get it under your machine and sew a seam down below. And I'm gonna bring you over here, y'all. Just let me get it situated here. This is, this is the only part that is, I feel is difficult. I'm going to use my down feature. Okay, so see y'all? I've got the lining pushed down inside of my bag. Let me get this thread over here and make it in the back. Keep using your fingers underneath to press it down underneath and slowly sew all the way around. Push it, and what I do is I take the lining underneath or the top and I pull it down so you can see that it's going to be even and have it nice and flush down in there. I know this is a bit of tugging, but y'all, it's so worth it. Okay, we're coming to the end, or halfway actually, and then we're going to sew one more seam and then we'll be done with the sewing part, y'all. It's so exciting. excited okay so now the nice thing about your bag is the seams that you could see that were underneath here have now been sewed inside it's almost like a French seam y'all see they're hidden inside so now look at that isn't it beautiful Another thing that you can also do if you want, you could sew a top stitch seam right around here and I'm gonna do that as well. And then only thing left to do is to put our string through and then we are done. I'm gonna put it up underneath my machine again. You don't have to do this part. Um, but I'm going to try it because I want that extra nice top stitch on my back. You're going to make sure you're pulling your, pulling the top. Everything's going to be nice and flush. Got a little pucker there, but I'm not worrying about a little pucker. And I'm using the edge of my bag kind of as a guide.
Last seam, I promise. And there we go. Up we go. Our sewing part is done. Okay, y'all, look at our bag. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous, totally lined. Now all we have to do is put our string, but look inside. How cute is that, y'all? Look. So sweet. Okay, let's just put the string and then we'll be done. Okay, y'all, so I am finishing this up. I just need to put the drawstring cording through um, the top of our bag. And um, I decided to put the camera above so you can see better what I'm doing. Um, so anyway, all you need to do is buy this white cording. Um, it's uh, almost like a shoestring in a way. I got it in the ribbon section. And all you need to do is cut yourself a 24 inch piece and you're gonna start and you're gonna feed it through with, put it on a safety pin and you're gonna feed it through all the way around. Let me get this going here. Okay, we're gonna feed it through all the way around, all the way through, we're gonna come out the other end, but keep going around like you're making a U-turn. So, okay, we're coming to the end here. I'm gonna kind of pull it through. Don't let it go all the way out the other end. You don't wanna have that end pop out. Then we're gonna go back through the other side. Still got some strings to trim. Okay, we're coming toward the end. Now, you could just go and you could put one of these because, as you see, it was cinch up. Okay, you would it, this would cinch up just fine with one, but we're going to put two. So, I'm going to go ahead, let me even this out, take off the safety pin, tie a knot on the end of each one of this so it doesn't go back up in there. Tie a knot here. Okay, now we've got one side. Now I'm going to put a safety pin in another piece that's 24 inches. And I'm going to start over on this side. Start where the hole is. I'm going to feed this all the way around. So now we're having two inside the casing. The strings are going to come out on opposite ends from each other. Got to do a little little working in here because it's got got that other piece in there. Hopefully I'm not too close but I just wanted this to be up a little bit. Let's see if I can move you up just a little bit. I don't want you to feel like you're so close but there we go let's see if that maybe is a little better for you okay we're coming down to the end of the first side we're gonna pull it out through the hole okay so here we're at this one side and now we're gonna take it we're gonna go back through the other side so here we go. I'm going to go in through the other side and go back to the other end. And then, y'all, we will be done. This is such a cute bag. Okay, I'm getting there, y'all. Getting there. I hope you've hung with me. I know this has been... A lengthy video but and I hope that you have learned something um, like I said I did find this uh,
pattern and it was on a blog about three years ago I found this and um, the Bee in My Bonnet had shared, who, uh, the lady that has a blog called Bee in My Bonnet had shared this and so that's where I learned it from and just fell in love with this so okay so now I've got my strings on one end strings on the other and let me so you gotta do a little tug in here get them all even take off my safety pin tie a knot at the end okay there we go. Now look, see? It opens. Here's the inside of your bag. You can't see any of the seams. Look. See? It's pretty hidden in there. Got a few strings I need to trim. But for the most part, they're hidden. And there you go. Now, if you did not want to do this top part, the cinch part on the top, you could have stopped right here and just left the top off. And that would be a super cute little bag as well. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to take this off, show you the front view. And um, yeah, so one sec. So how do you like it? Look how sweet it is. So cute. There's the cinch top closes it up very sweet bag very sweet and like I said I know that this tutorial was a little bit longer but oh my goodness y'all this bag is so worth it how cute is it so worth it well I hope that like I said I hope that you've stuck with me through this I hope that you enjoyed this and um yeah um yeah I'm just pretty excited about it might make another one pretty simple um, but anyway, uh, I guess I will see you guys soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing, and I will see you later. Bye.